Good morning and welcome to chapel. Let's begin by lighting our candles. With our candles lit, let's begin by making the sign of the cross as we open up the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Boop. With that said, let's begin with our pledge. Facing the flag, we say our pledge, hand over our heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Well, good morning, and I want to welcome you to chapel. I'd like to begin by singing a song that we sing all the time. So get up, stand up, and let's sing it. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and Give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Well, today, I want to welcome you to chapel. And today we're going to talk about Jesus as the Good Shepherd. Have you ever heard of a psalm? Now, the psalms come from the Old Testament, but they're songs or poems. And one of those is called Psalm 23. Can you say Psalm 23? And it's a familiar psalm which you will probably hear at times in your life, whether you're uh, going through difficult times or whether you want to hear psalms that comfort us. The one psalm is called Psalm 23, and it begins with these words. The Lord is my shepherd. Can you say that? The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. Repeat that. I shall not want. He makes me lie down. He makes me lie down in green pastures, in green pastures. So that's how the psalm begins. And what does it mean that the Lord is our good shepherd? I have something here for a minute that you may have seen before. I'll stand back here a little bit. This is called a shepherd's crook. Okay. And it's used by shepherds as they're taking care of sheep. And the reason why it has this big, big hook like this is because when sheep get lost, the shepherd is able to reach down and pull the sheep back out of whatever they've fallen into. Maybe it's a bad uh, bush, maybe it's a ravine, or maybe it's even a hole where they've fallen. And so the shepherd is able to do that. Why do we call Jesus our good shepherd? Well, one of the reasons why is that he tells us this story about a sheep and a shepherd. Look at this for a minute. If I get close here, you can see that this is a wood statue. And here is a shepherd. We can tell the way he's dressed. And who does he have on the top of his back is a sheep. And there's a story told about Jesus once. He tells this parable, this story, about a farmer, uh, a shepherd, who goes out and has a hundred sheep when he goes out in the morning. And so he goes out to the field, and through the day the sheep all are grazing, and into the afternoon, and now as it starts to get dark, the shepherd takes all of his sheep back to the barn. And as he's counting the sheep, one, two, three, he gets there in 97, 98, 99, <gasps> and realizes that there's one sheep missing. And so the shepherd closes the barn, and then he goes out and he looks in the field, in the ravines, along the, the river, and he finds this one sheep which has gotten caught in a bush. And as the shepherd finds him, he carries him on his shoulders, just like this wood art has, and he tells his friends, rejoice with me, for I have found my lost sheep. You know, when you think about it, Jesus is our good shepherd because he cares for us. 
Have you ever done anything wrong in your life? I bet you have, and I bet you you've wondered, will my parents or my teacher forgive me? And the answer to that is yes. But what about with God? Does God forgive us of our sins? The answer to that is yes. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, he forgives us of our sins. And as a good shepherd, he says, you listen to my voice and you follow me. And what does Jesus say? He says, if we're weary, we're tired, we're feeling sad, we can always come to him. And like a sheep who falls asleep in the shepherd's arms, Jesus there cares for us. And that's a wonderful thing. That's why he is called the good shepherd. Not a bad shepherd, but a good shepherd. And he takes care of his sheep, which you and I are. With that said, I want to remind you of that Bible verse. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. There's a song that I have as well, too, that goes along with this. And this is how it goes. It goes, oh, I am Jesus, little lamb, little lamb, I am. Wait, let me start again. I am Jesus, little lamb, ever glad at heart I am. For my shepherd gently guides me, knows my name and will provides me, loves me every day the same, even calls me by my name. And that's a wonderful thing that Jesus calls us by our name. And what does he say? Come to me and I love you and you love me. Isn't that wonderful? So if you know of anybody who feels alone, afraid, or feels lost from God, you can remind them that Jesus, the Good Shepherd, welcomes them back. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, please watch over us. Please watch over us and be with us and be with us. Be our Good Shepherd. Be our Good Shepherd. In your name, in your name, we pray. We pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so let's close by singing this last song. It goes like this. You know this. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. And let me ask you again. What does amen mean? Amen means... Yes, yes. All right, well, have a good day and we'll see you later. And remember, Jesus is your good shepherd who loves you. Amen.